Okay, volume of pyramid. So, pyramid is a three-dimensional shape with one base and triangular lateral faces. So, triangles on the sides. The volume V of a pyramid is one-third the area of the base times the height of the whole pyramid. Okay? So, it's the same as those other volume formulas that we've looked at. Area of the base times the height. The only difference is that one-third. So, to make it a little bit easier, area of the base times the height of the prism divided by three. That's what that... Triangle prisms that you just Kind of. Okay, but what's that big B stand for? Base. The yeah. area of the base, not just one number. It means you're gonna have to find the area of whatever your base is. So it says it's got one base, so it could either be a square, it could be a rectangle. Some of these you'll see, shh, some of these you'll see the base is actually a triangle. So whatever formula you need to use to find that area, that's what you'll do to solve for that. So that's the biggest thing I'll need to remember is that the big B stands for area of the base. Then we multiply that by the height of the prism or the pyramid in our case. And then divide by three. Okay, so area of the base times the height of the prism or pyramid and then divide by three. So example one. So let's write this formula down, volume of a pyramid. So volume equals one third area of the base times the height. Or area of the base times the height divided by three. <clears throat> so looking at this pyramid over here, what it's sitting on, that's your base. So what shape is that base? Uh, square. 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 square or rectangle since these aren't the exact same numbers. So rectangle. So what's the formula for finding the area of a rectangle? Base times, base times height or length times width because using the word base kind of gets us confused. So length times width. So we would do 4.3 times 3.2. Let's see. So one, two, 13.76. So we can round it. Yeah, we can round it to 14. We can go ahead and do that just to make it easier on ourselves. So the area of my base we'll say is 14. So then plug that into your formula. We know the area of the base is 14. What's the height of the whole pyramid? 11. That times 11. 11. That 11 means that's the height of the whole thing, how tall it is. <clears throat> and then dividing it by 3. So 14 times 11. Mm -hmm. One fifty four. No, fifty one. So one fifty four, and then divide that by three. That's your last step. <laughs> so fifty one point three, since we rounded it. 51.3 meters cubed. Since we're talking about volume, we've got a 3D shape. Sorry, 51.3. Okay, so number one, look at number one. First thing we want to do, write down the formula. Since it's a pyramid, volume equals one third area of the base times the height. Or what we've been doing, area of the base times height divided by three. That's a little bit easier. So first thing, write your formula down. Second thing, figure out what our base is. 
What's your base? Square. Same, okay, it's the same formula for area, but since these numbers aren't the exact same, it's a rectangle. So the area of my base, I'm gonna do length times width, which is eight times seven. Length times width, base times height, it's the same thing. I just use length times width for that because we're using the word base a lot. So 56 is gonna be the area of my base, so that's my capital B times six. six. Good. The height of the whole pyramid is divided six. By three. It's a hundred divided by three. three. Shh. Okay. So one thing you can do, if you can look and see, will that three go into either of those top numbers evenly, you can go ahead and divide it there. So like six, we can divide by three and get two. So we can say 56 times two, and that saves a little bit of time. So 56, it is 112. So 112 centimeters cubed. <coughs> okay, number two. Same thing, formula, volume is the area of the base times the height of the pyramid divided by three, almost put a two. Beautiful three. So what's the shape of my base? What is that pyramid sitting on? It's a square. It's, a square. it's an actual square. How do we know it's an actual square? It's the Good, our length and width is the same. So to find the area, of that base. Length times width. Nine times nine. Which is? Okay, so the area of my base, nine, 81. Times the height of the whole pyramid. Five. And then divide by three. So 81 times five. And then divide that by three. Mm -hmm. Good. So our volume is 135 feet cubed. Okay, number three, look at number three. Number three is turned kind of on its side, but can you still see what the base is? It's this rectangle over here. If you need to shade it in, shade it in. That helps sometimes to see. So the volume is the area of the base times our height of the pyramid divided by three. So same thing, area of your base, length times width, so seven times 2.3. So 2.3 times 7, got 21, 14, 15, 16, That's one decimal. So 16.1 is the area of my base. Then the height of the whole pyramid, which is 10. And then you would divide by 10. Good, so 10 times 16. Remember, if you divide, multiply by 10, you're just adding a zero divided by three. So 160 divided by three. It is 56.6. 56. Good. So it ends up being 53.6. Six, six repeating, I think, so we can round it to 53.7. <clears throat> okay, number four. Number four is kind of the same where it's tilted on its side. Can you still see what the base is, though? Right. So that square would be our base, 11.8 
times 11.8. So area of my base, length times width, so 11.8 times 11.8. Yeah, should be. So 139.24, we'll just say 139, times the height and divide by 3. <clears throat> Okay, so 139 times 5. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> My again. 695 meters <laughs> cubed. Okay, almost done. Number 5. Good. Our base is a rectangle. We can see it there. So, area of the base divided by 3. <gasps> Good, so 10 times 13, 130 times our height, which is 14.1. You guys can just round it down to 14 so we don't have a decimal, and then divide it by 3. So, oh, 130, I'm sorry, because the area of our base was 130. So you should get 606. Yards cubed. Last one, number six. Check number six. I know you guys, some of you are moving ahead, but make sure you're doing this one right. So the volume, area of the base times height divided by three. On this one, what's the shape of my base? Triangle. It's a triangle. So what does that mean for the area of my base? That means it'll be base times height divided by 2. So the base of my triangle is going to be 2. The height of my triangle would be 10. And then divide that by 2. So 2 times 10 divided by 2, which is 10. Then the height of my whole pyramid, 9.6. And then divided by 3. So good. 9.6 times 10. We're just moving that decimal point, 96. And then divided by 3. So you should get 32.